Hey guys, hope you're all well. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about educational beauty. Today's video is all about how to create an eye makeup pack that a lot of celebrities use. I'm gonna be sharing this information with you today and showing you exactly how you can create this same look. You're actually gonna be pretty surprised that a lot of the makeup looks that you see on some celebrities, which end up going viral, are actually created using this hack and it works amazing. So I can't wait for you guys to learn this. If you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos and don't forget I'm over on Instagram so you can come and check me out there too. Now let's head straight into this video. So I don't have any eye makeup on. The only thing I do have on is a little bit of concealer and that's been set with powder a lot earlier in the day. I don't have any eyeshadow on or anything like that. So we're gonna get started. Now this is something so many celebrities do. I'm really excited about sharing this with you. So I'm gonna be showing you as I go along. We're gonna be using bronzers on the eyes, but I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to use them, create it, blend it and everything and what kind of textures you should go for. Now, one thing I want you to remember is that what makes this so great, it's not just a case of oh all you're saying is just using bronzers on the eyes it's not just that it's because of the fact that each individual person well majority of us do use a bronzer right and we've already gone through that hard work of figuring out which bronzer suits us so that's like a whole different thing i'm going on the basis or the understanding that you know which bronzer suits you you have a bronzer you use it you know what kind of colors kind of suit you whether you are more suited to cool tones or warm tones or more kind of like neutral so based on that you pick Pick the bronzer which suits you, which you know you would usually use on your face. So you want to go for that same kind of undertone and shade. Now I'm going to be using cream bronzers here because that's what works really, really well and it's super, super easy. I'm going to be starting off with my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer in tan. I always have to read it out because the names are just ridiculously long. I am going to be using my Sigma E45 brush. Now guys, I've got some special news for you. Do you remember my Sigma brush set that I created for the eyes? It's so out but we've restocked them i'm super super excited about this so you can go ahead and grab yours because they are out they're in stock and you guys can go and grab yours so yeah i think i just have to grab yours twice but i'm really excited about this because i didn't honestly think they were going to go as quick as they did and we've had some amazing feedback five star reviews on the website so make sure you go check it out works out cheaper than actually getting all of them individually and you have everything you need in this and honestly every single review review that is on the site is a positive review saying how much easier it makes it for them and just how great these brushes are and plus don't forget there is actually a video like specifically tailored to using each and every brush but I am going to be using those same brushes today so that you can see so this is one of them I'm going into my bronzer this is like a kind of cream to powder bronzer I'm applying it onto the brush like that I'm going to go on the back of my hand to make sure I take off the excess now this is where we are going to basically cover the eyelid and just create that really nice bronze kind of like smoky eye what's great about this is the colors when you apply it to your eyelid because you usually apply it to your face you forget just how perfectly matched the bronzer is to your skin tone so when you apply it to your face you're kind of like wow I just probably wouldn't have even found this shade of brown within my eyeshadow like collection you can also, by the way, use your fingers to blend if you want. I've applied it all over my lid. I'm basically just dragging this kind of like upwards and outwards. And then also using my finger to just pick up any excess product and just help with the blending a bit. Can you see we've really taken that kind of like into the socket and then dragged it upwards and outwards here. Oh, it's such a nice color. We're really making sure we've got an even kind of like finish of this all over the lid. There you go, I'm happy with that. Same thing on this side. We're really kind of covering the lid up to the socket first. Just like brush it all on. Clean off the brush on the back of your hand so you don't have a lot of product on there and then start blending just the edges because we've already applied it on the center of the lid. Now it's just about blending. I like, like to kind of like press and flick most of the time because I feel like that way it's not, you know, you're not really going in too hard on the product. Now that is blended nicely. This is where I'm gonna go with my E30 brush from Sigma, go into the same bronzer, take it off on the back of my hand, and then I'm gonna focus on using the tip back and forth, going along the root of the lash. Just focus on touching the root of the lash. 
it's actually pretty amazing how much of a like pro eye this actually creates it just looks so flattering when you're using your current bronzer if you do have powder bronzers you can do it with powder as well because ultimately it's the right shade for you anyway well it should be i do prefer cream bronzers because i feel like they just blend way more easily and you're less likely to get that kind of like patchy finish with a cream bronzer and you can use your fingers to blend. Now you could just leave it like this and go in with some like mascara or lashes, but I'm gonna take it one step further. I'm gonna be using my Fenty Beauty Cream Cheeks Out Bronzer and I'm using the shade Chocolate, which is 06. This is a pretty dark like kind of bronzer and I'm using my E30 brush, taking off some on the back of my hand to make sure there's not too much. This is quite dark. And this is where I'm actually gonna go very close to my lash line and kind of give the whole eye look some depth to the lash line don't worry about it being neat because it's still like a brown shade so it's not like you're gonna see an obvious kind of like difference in color compared to what you've already applied go very close to the lash line it's just gonna add a bit of kind of more of a gradient finish there and then drag a little bit upwards and outwards can you already see there's a bit of a difference compared to the other side there's kind of kind of depth there but without it being like oh wow she's just applied a super dark color there and then what we're going to do is do the same thing underneath but we're going to go very even closer to the lash line so now we're not going too further down we're actually sticking even closer to the lash line and that's going to in turn help to create a gradient effect because the lighter color is going is like outwards and then it gets darker as you go in but in a very subtle way see the difference between that and that that's a bit flat. That one has got more depth to it. We're gonna to go to the other eye, do the same thing. It's actually pretty amazing how easy this eye is. Now we're gonna add something special to this. I'm gonna be using my Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer in Reflect. This is kind of very bronzy. And I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand because I'm not gonna apply this straight to my lid. I'm gonna then get my finger, just kind of dab some onto it. And then I'm gonna go just in the center of my lid, make sure most of it's on the center and then gradually pat out so that it just fades out. Now we need to curl the lashes because we really want to like take this up a level. We're going to make sure the lashes are nice and curled. Go in with mascara. You want a mascara which is kind of like slightly thickening. I mean, it really doesn't matter. It depends on the type of overall look you're going for. You could also put lashes on with this. That will really take it up a notch. But I really love this look because it's just like going back to what I said, the great thing about it is you're using tones which are already suited to your skin tone. So you know they're gonna complement your whole look. Like you don't need to kind of go rummaging around trying to find the right brown in your eyeshadow kit. And you know what I love? That it's just so easy to do. It's so easy, so quick, as you've probably been able to tell with how short this video is, but it's just really easy for anyone to do. Now, if you really wanna take this up another level, then you use the same products on your face and everything is just gonna look chocolatey and just really, really nice. I'm using my Sigma F67 brush and I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the brush, take it off on the back of my hand because I don't want too much product. And now this is where we're gonna just bronze the face. And this is really gonna just complement the whole look. We don't wanna go like, you know, too heavy with the bronzer just enough that it kind of complements the whole look. And you're gonna get that really nice kind of bronzed finish all over and you can take it over the rest of the face wherever you feel you want to and then get some of that same highlighter that we used. Put it on the back of my hand, get the end of a sponge and then dab this on on the peaks of your cheekbones and it just gives a really nice finish to the whole face. And then everything is just complementing one another. 
wherever you want that extra highlight. Oh, I love this look. It just, it, see how everything is just elevated now. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this. Again, you can put some lashes on this if you want to. I'm really like kind of hoping you can see the difference from how it was to begin with and how it is now. It's really kind of changed up the whole look. So you could even, for example, have your base on during the day and then go home and decide, you know what, all I need to do is take off my eye makeup and just add things, you know, because I'm not adding my base. My base is already done. It's okay, maybe a bit of powder if you need it. But otherwise, you don't really need to do a lot to really take your look from here to here. I feel like I should have done this, but <laughs> anyway, so yeah, there are various different bronzers that you can use. Again, you can do this with powder bronzer, but I genuinely would recommend more kind of cream bronzers because they melt into the skin. It isn't going to look heavy and it just looks very kind of nat not, I'm not going to say like this isn't a natural look, but it, it doesn't look as cakey as what a powder bronzer will look. And plus when you're working with powders on the eyes, if you haven't prepped your eye well, you could end up like with like patchiness and like like dark kind of sections and it just doesn't look good at all so i would highly recommend using cream bronzers because they work just perfectly on the skin super easy to blend and if you don't want to use brushes you can use your fingers but don't forget that you can grab my brush set from sigma now it's out now you're going to love it it's much cheaper than buying them separately and you get this little kind of like pad in there which you can clean your brushes easily dry you don't even need to wet them you know for when like maybe you haven't had a chance to dry to kind of wash them then you can just quickly take the product off on the mat so yeah i think you're gonna love it so i'm sending you loads of love wherever you are in the world and if you have any questions let me know products are all listed in the description as usual just need to head over click on the links and it'll take you straight to it don't forget that i do also have a newsletter like an online publication called confessions of a creative please head over there i know you're going to love it you can either opt for a free subscription which means that you get occasional newsletters covering style self-improvement beauty journal style newsletters too where we talk about more serious things and if you want to opt for the paid newsletter then you do get a dedicated beauty newsletter as well as everything else that is very very in detail and in depth about my actual product recommendations how to use certain products why certain products are so great i don't always get the chance on here to do product product recommendations and because I'm really kind of showing you educational videos, but over there you can really get to learn what my ultimate products are, why I use them, how to use certain products, my reviews on products that are new, whether it's worth the spend and everything, all sorts, everything to do with beauty that you're not going to probably see over here. And you also get to join me on a special private community with all the other paid subscribers where we get to actually talk to one another and have discussions. You can ask questions like all sorts. So it's really a place, it's kind of like a private room area for us guys to talk so i really do ho hope you head over there too that would be great and i've got a vlog channel as well so much going on a vlog channel where you can head over new video every three days there as well not every three days that's every thursday and sunday where you can actually see what i get up to during the day <laughs> could be anything gone on vacation whatever chatting anything so yeah you can head over there too yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos and yeah until the next video take care and i'll see you soon